Well, first responders are at high risk during the coronavirus pandemic. More than 1,000 New York City police officers have tested positive for COVID-19. Five have died. A California police officer also died, and thousands in uniform across the country are testing positive. It's not just a problem in big cities, though. A Minot, North Dakota officer has the virus. While there are no known cases among Sioux Falls officers at this time, Kelloland's Angela Kennecke shows you what protection they have in place and how, in many cases, it may not help. Every day, Sioux Falls police officers come into close contact with the public. And it could be a burglary, it could be a domestic, um, it could be somebody that's passed out that needs help. There's going to be a lot of times when officers are going to have to have that close person-to-person -person contact. It's just the nature of the job. Like all patrol officers, Sergeant Andy Siebenborn has a safety kit that includes goggles and gloves. There's a set of gloves. Most officers carry gloves on their person as well. And then inside the, uh, the bag along with the gloves is an N95 mask that officers can don um, for the particular calls that they would need to use it on. Sergeant Stevenborn hasn't had to use an N95 mask yet. The Sioux Falls Police Department says it has plenty on hand to supply officers. However, in some situations, there isn't always time to put it on. If you have to, you know, touch somebody, if you have to wrestle with somebody. I mean, you don't have the time to put gloves and a mask on. I mean, you, you, you just can't call time out to do this stuff and then game on again. I mean, you have to perform the duties and it's taking those precautions as best as you can. Those precautions include hand sanitizing and wiping down any contact surfaces. Since the coronavirus outbreak, police calls are down about 10%. The Sioux Falls Police Department has had the ability for the public to report minor crimes like petty theft online since 2012. But since asking the public to report more of these crimes online about a week and a half ago, it has seen an uptick in the number of people doing that. If officers do contract COVID-19, the department has a plan. If we are affected, if we have a lot of officers that are affected by this virus and not able to work and it's starting to affect our manpower, we're going to be able to adjust and still provide the service. Officers are also encouraged to use peer support already in place to deal with their own anxieties on the job during this unprecedented time. In Sioux Falls, Angela Kennecke, Kelloland News. Now, of course, police are not the only emergency responders at a high risk of contracting COVID-19. Firefighters and EMTs are also in danger. 911 dispatchers are asking health-related questions when calls come in to try to screen for the coronavirus and prepare those first responders.